What's up, guys? We'll be talking about the mid century mesocolon, larger and greater momentum. Okay, so um, basically, this is it this is a greater momentum, this is a lesser momentum, and the mid centuries are actually like um, um, what is holding the intestines, okay, to so the posterior abdominal wall, okay, and this is a mesocolon, too, okay. So basically, if you have watched our video on the development of meat gut, that's the development of all the digestive tract and everything, you get to see that um, the fourth event in the development of meat gut is the fixation of the intestines, where there's formation of the meat century, okay, that attaches the intestines to the posterior abdominal wall, okay. So our lecture today is meat century, mesocolon, larger and greater omentum. Okay, so now we so said that mid centuries are double layers of peritoneum in the abdominal cavity, and they are continuations of the viscera and the parietal peritoneum with the serous membranes ahead, ahead back, so that uh, the outer what mesothelium secretes serous fluid into the peritoneal cavity. So now um, this decreases friction between the adjacent visceral surfaces and allows some movements of the organs, okay? So mesentery basically, they attach the organs to the posterior abdominal wall and they allow the movement of these organs without them going out of place, okay? So now um, mesentery attaches the intestines to the abdominal wall and also helps what? Storing the fat, they are made up of fat too. And it allows blood and lymph vessels as well as what? Nerves to supply the intestine okay as a various rules of the um mid century okay so now let's look at the lesser and the greater momentum this is the lesser momentum okay and this is the greater momentum so lesser momentum attaches the stomach to the liver you could say this is a stomach and this thing attaching the stomach to the liver is a lesser momentum Okay, then how about the greater momentum? We said that the greater momentum covers the small intestine like an apron. Okay, this whole covering right here that is in yellow and pink, okay, that's the greater momentum. And the apron is like what a cook wears to cover the front, okay? So now um, the greater momentum is covering the front of the intestines and everything, okay? So that's it. And um, let's talk about um, an overview of the mesentery and the mesocolon again. The mesentery, we say that um, mesentery of the small intestine holds many blood vessels and it attaches the a small intestine to the posterior abdominal wall. Then how about the mesocolon? Uh, the mesocolon attaches, it, it anchors the colon to the posterior abdominal wall, okay? So this is um, uh, the transverse colon, this is the ascending colon, this is the descending colon, okay? So what attaches this part of the large intestine to the posterior abdominal wall is what we call mesocolon. Okay? So I hope it was a short lecture, but I hope um, it was um, very good. Okay, we spoke about the mesentery, spoke about the mesocolon, spoke spoke about the large and greater, uh, larger and greater what momentum. Okay. See you guys in the next era. Bye for now.